Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy and we're gonna get straight into our explosive penny stock watch list. So today we're gonna start off our watch list actually looking at the plays that I feel have the most potential in the short term. And so we're gonna start off with RDGL, in my opinion, the one that everyone should have their eyes on right now. We had an extremely volatile session here for Radio Gel. You can see we have been in this triangle pattern since our first run up. And so this run that we had was actually a pre anticipatory run to FDA approval. So we kept going up. And then on this day right here is when we actually got rejected and we saw our price just kind of collapse. And now here we are again today and we are starting to break out. So yesterday was actually the confirmation to buy. I've been saying this for a very long time for RDGL. Once we break out of this top level of resistance and we get our back test, that is when this stock is a play. That is when you should be buying in on this stock. And so yesterday is when I tweeted saying that this was a buy today. And so that day I actually could not buy any shares. However, I did end up buying today. I actually put a limit order at the bottom that we saw today and I actually got my order filled. So that was extremely bullish. Like I've said before, I personally don't mind getting in on this one under 12 cents, even 13 cents. Right now, I would still be a buyer of RDGL. When we see what we saw with the price on our first run up, we touched around 30 cents. And so I think we can get to that point again, if not more with this stock. And so I'm very familiar with VivoSync RDGL. I've been in this before. We were in this before the first run. And now here we are again, ready and locked and loaded for the second run. And so I've been saying this for a minute. RDGL was a buy, is a buy. And I'm very excited to now be holding again. And now I'm ready to see where this one goes and so rdgl today up 10 percent. look how we close today absolutely beautiful price action on our macd everything right now looks extremely bullish on radio gel you could see that we are ready to go all of our smas are parallel to each other and this is exactly where we want to be when we enter a stock and so this looks like the beginning of another move and i'm excited to be a part of it we'll see where this one goes let's get it let's go with rdgo next stock we're looking at here is igen on the daily time frame so igen was flat today closed only up 0.07 but i want to show you guys why this is exactly what we wanted to see here for igen so on our daily you could see us we have a little bit of a flag but i'm going to pull this out onto our hourly just to show you guys so you can see right here clear pattern this has been a level of support for us and this has been a level of resistance for us where exactly did we close today we closed above our 50 sma which is absolutely beautiful we always want to see price above it but here we are right now at a point where we have been holding this 50 for this entire run and so tomorrow is going to be an absolutely critical day tomorrow i expect the stock to break to the upside it has held this 50 for a very long time and i do think that tomorrow is the day we need to be green we need to close above this level of resistance tomorrow and that is literally the only possibility that i see as bullish if that is the only thing that we want to see tomorrow for igen we want to see our price close above this level of resistance if we go below our 50 sma that is bearish if we close anything below this point it is going to be bearish so there's only one scenario on the table this was our handle i just have this extended just in case we do break past this 50 sma and so if i just kind of zoom it out here it would be our cup here is our handle and so if i pull this back out onto our daily time frame this is clear we have officially kind of closed above this if you look at our chart on the daily however we want to see this now start to curl up so this is a clear uptrend in my opinion our macd is above zero we are setting higher lows but the reason why we need to be green on a MACD level is because if you go red tomorrow, this will cross down and that will become bearish. That will put more selling pressure on the stock. So if you get another green day, this will bounce off this line and that would be an extremely bullish signal. And that would be another confirmation to buy in on iGen. Next stock we're looking at is FTEG for the Earth Corp. So this is a stock that I own and we were down 15% today, but I want to keep this on your guys' radar. One, because our accumulation is unbelievably unreal. It's 19 billion money flow so this is 
absolutely crazy. If, and so if we look at all of our SMAs, you can see that our 50 SMA is starting to level out. And as this levels out, that means the price is starting to consolidate. And I think anything below the green line is a buy right now. And so again, this was a play strictly on speculation. I just saw a straight line up on our accumulation, except our price kept going down. And so now that we have found clear support on this level, I do believe this is a great time to enter this stock for any sort of movement to the upside. And so I'm excited to see where this one goes. This is definitely a speculative play, but worth a look if you are a trader looking for a nice little play. Next stock of the day, we're looking at Humble on the daily time frame. So Humble only up 2.4%, however, we actually closed right on or right below our 50 SMA. So tomorrow is going to be a pretty critical day. Either we're going to get rejected by our 50 SMA or we're going to be closing above. And so that would be a great sign of momentum for the stock. You could clearly see now that our SMAs are starting to level out over here. You could see how wonky they were. Again, one little tip for traders. You never want to buy a stock when your SMAs are so far apart. They are on an incline. You want to buy when these lines are horizontal. That just gives you more room to the upside and so now i'm looking at the price action kind of leveling out a bit we're getting our price close to this 50 sma so it looks like the tide is going to turn here in humble very shortly we need to break this level of resistance however if you want to see the official run for the stock so until then we're just going to wait and watch and continue to accumulate where we can next stock of the day we're looking at acdc on the daily time frame so i ended up hopping back into acdc at around 26 cents this is a stock that i'm going to hold for the long term i I have traded this one in the past, but now I'm finally going to hold a position for the long term, mainly because this is a real company that's going to have a real success story, in my opinion, in the next coming years. Um, just anything related to EVs, whether it's batteries, whether it's the minerals, whether it's the elements, um, it doesn't really make a difference. That whole industry is going to boom. And the fact that ACDC actually has some real contracts to get things done lets me know that they're probably going to get more contracts in the future. And this is a company that I'm willing to bet on, especially at this price. And so I'm in ACDC. This is a play for the long term. And so wherever this one goes, I will be there to watch. I'm very excited. You could see our 200 day SMAs is slowly going up. And so I expect the price acts to eventually just curl up and we are going to have a nice run at some point. And so that is why I'm in ACDC. I think everyone should have this on their watch list because for a penny stock, I think this is a great play. Next stock of the day, looking at WDLF on the daily time frame. So WDLF has been getting hit with tons of volatility recently. One thing to mention is we did claw above our 50 SMA. Now we are looking for our back test on this line. Once we get this back test, it becomes an official buy signal for WDLF. Unfortunately, I'm already in this stock and I am down substantially on this play. However, if you are watching this video now and you haven't got into WDLF, once we get this back test on our 50 SMA, which also is our level right here, then that becomes the official buy signal for WDLF to ride for its next run up. Next stock of the day, we're looking at ALYI on the daily. So ALYI, no real signs yet. We are still just in a downtrend. Our price action is very far from its SMAs. We are coming to a level of support. That is a great buying opportunity if you plan on holding ALYI long. But in my opinion, I don't want to expose myself to too many positions in the OTC. So I have a handful of picks that I have. And so ALYI is not one of those long plays. This is more of a trading situation for myself. One, I don't like the accumulation. There's been too much distribution, but there's always money to be made on momentum. And so that is why I like ALYI, which is why I like talking about them. And so once we start to get this curling up, this may be a play, but right now, no real hurry to get into the stock. Similarly, we have Segai on the daily time frame. Same play as ALYI. I think Segai has a little bit more upside just because our accumulation has been holding steady however this is more of a trade for myself not a long-term play I've had trouble buying this stock in the past and so that has given me and turned me off a bit from this stock but again I like making money and so when we're coming to trades we're getting to a point right now where we are officially above and now holding our 50 SMA so at this point in time Sagai is a buy if we get another green day tomorrow to confirm that we've held this 50 SMA then yes, Sega is going to be a nice play. It would be a probably trade that I would trade until we get to about the 200 day SMA. But as of right now, I'm not in Sega, but this is a play for traders. If you are interested, Sega does look quite intriguing right now. Next stock we're looking at is 88 Energy on the daily time frame. So up about 
percent this one broke down from our pattern did close above these key levels of support for us and now we're just looking for the price action to claw back up so there's no real hurry to get into ad energy again this is more of a swing play trade for me not a long-term hold and so once we get above this 50 sma this is worth a look but until then don't catch the falling knife let this one kind of just settle in and so until it gets above there this stock is not a buy in my opinion. Next stock I just want to talk about is Fern. Fern is a stock that is going to continue to haunt me. And this is a stock that I put about seven, eight hundred dollars in at around triple O two. The stock is at three cents, almost four. Um, just to give you guys some reference on that seven hundred dollar investment, if I continue to hold this one, I'd be up around thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars, and so that is an extreme amount of upside that you could see in this explosive penny stock watch list. And so, yes, this was a tough one for me to look at, but this one is one of those ones where it's too late to get in now, in my opinion. I've just bought this so low that to buy at these points makes absolutely no sense. And so, with Fern, this is just one that I like to keep, just to keep me humble a bit, because even people who are good at trading and good at reading charts sometimes you miss opportunities that are right in front of your nose and so this one was in my portfolio but I decided to liquidate to buy something else and it burned me so it's all good though these are plays that will come and go we have other plays that we are trying to make the money back with but Fern, this was a gem of a pick if I just continue to hold. However, I don't want to go too much into it. Otherwise, I will start to get a little bit sad. And last stock of the day, we're looking at SNDL on the daily time frame. So we close only up 0.62%. We're closing on levels of support with this one. I've mentioned again, SNDL is not a long-term play for myself. If you're looking at a cannabis play, look at high tide instead of SNDL. But because SNDL has such great momentum, money can be made on this play. So when you want to get in on this one, one is once you start to see it break this green line right now we're just holding support price is still consolidating there's no real direction for this one uh, but as news for federal legalization starts to come out as more acts and safe banking acts start to get approved these stocks in this industry will start to run and so with SNDL this is going to be a momentum play so be ready for this one but right now is not the time to get in and so if you guys enjoyed this quick little update video on our explosive penny stock watch list don't forget to like we are on the road to 10k subs so if you made it to this point feel free to hit that subscription button if you guys want to get real life buy and sell alerts come over to my patreon that is where i give my picks before anyone else in the public sees otherwise i hope you'll have a great day this is dummy boy finance i'm dummy boy and i'll see you guys in the next one